Hello guys and welcome back to Simpleton's Impressions and today's game is called Pantsu Hunter back to the 90s. From the title you can probably already imagine it's going to be a bit pervy and on the right we have got a panties collection so yeah this is one for you perverts out there. It was originally developed and released by Ascension Dream, 7th Ascension and Sometimes You. And its initial release date was the 17th of January 2019. It's currently on the UK eShop for £8.18p. And it's on the US store for $9.09. .09, both sell prices. So let's get cracking into this game and we'll, we'll see what it's about. You know what, I'll only be doing... Uh... Oh, I've forgotten the buttons. We'll only be doing the uh, prologue, potentially, maybe chapter one. So you see what the game's about. Give you my first impressions. I can't even start the game. How do I? Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm guessing it's something to do with panties. I'm not quite sure yet. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll find that one out. My name is Kenji. I live in a large city inhabited by many lonely souls. People don't have time to rest. Most are single and there is no love. The ones who can still live a more or less serene life are children and students. They're happy, but even in high school, everyone is busy preparing for admission, universities and institutes. Some will attend college and some won't study at all, since they don't see the point. Though I didn't want to spend too much time studying, I realised not going to university is too irresponsible and would upset my parents. I signed up for this slavery. University was in another city, so I moved from my parents' house and ended up all alone in a huge city. This new page in my life told me everything was just beginning. I switched from one part time job to another, from a seller to a loader or a delivery man. Once I got hired to do a preparation at a small cafe near my apartment, they fired me because I suffer from deformed legs. In other words, it's not easy to rent an apartment and live alone. After working a couple of years of random jobs, I mastered my professions as a result, established myself as a jack of all trades at each job. It was easy to meet new people. I had no problems communicating. So I started working for everyone, helping anyone for payment. I'd help one person, they'd mention me to others, and so on and infinity. No one has ever been disappointed in me. In the end, I left all official part-time jobs and had lots of free time, which I dispended decided to spend on the most important thing, search for true love. I decided to find the one I'd like to live with until the end of my sweet days, but unfortunately, I'm out of luck in love. With each girl, sooner or later, there were misunderstandings. No trust. We remained strangers, as if the last puzzle piece was missing. No, nothing can fall into place. After countless relationships, I realised a lot can be said about girls based on, strangely enough, here we go, boys. Their panties. I know it's surprising, but this is the lost piece. Maybe guys are the same, but I haven't checked yet. At first, I had doubts about my theory. I had to take each pair home carefully for fuck's sake. Analyze. In truth, it was much easier to take them than to return them. I didn't want to mar my impeccable reputation as the jack of all trades, so I had to schedule a return visit quietly. Return the panties to the place before they notice the loss. Oh my god, this is a fucked up Japanese game. I can just feel it. I can feel it. My theory, I began to confirm my theory. Dreamy, bright, frank, simple. With teddy bears, all these panties were accurately characterised their owners. Sometimes, though, I still have to analyse closely. And I, uh, right, um, <laughs> white panties can indicate, a, no, I can't, I can't do this. You guys can just read the rest of this. I, I'm not shouting that out loud. I've got neighbours. And that was the prologue. Let's move to chapter one. Haruka Amaikawa. And as you can see, it's got a description there of her. And all of her, well, weird things. You've got a couple of endings, right? Roses are red, right, panties, you've got multiple different ones, let's just start this game onward. I did have a brief go a couple of weeks ago, I had no clue what I was playing, 
I saw it was a weird game. I thought this is good for or it's good good for content. Good to give you my impressions on. My clients usually didn't contact me directly. They contacted me for a friend and I would usually wait until the last moment to get back with them. It was a bit straining, but I still earned a reputation and made connections, including girls, which increased the chance of finding my true love. Among them all, a girl named Haruka was the first to directly contact me. She seemed like a very cute rustic girl, but also bright and sociable. Not to mention her nice body. Lovely stuff. Why was someone like her interested? Moreover, we studied in different faculties. She managed to find out almost everything about me. I can't, I can't keep reading this shit. I cannot keep reading this shit. She wants to have me here. So I tried the first mission a couple of weeks ago. I had no fucking clue what I was doing. No clue. And here, let's get started. Haruka, hi, I was waiting for you, Kenji. Wow, what a beauty. Gorgeous woman like her should certainly have some heart for fuck's sake. Let's, let's chirp, sir, boys. Chat up. I think I'm just teasing laughs. Just wondering if you could fix the video recorder. Yes, certainly. Suddenly broke. I can't fix things myself, so I thought. Uh, I do. Do I wash my hands first? Or if the aim is to get into light. Yep, we'll wash our hands. What am I doing here? Wow, we've got glass cleaner. Can't do that. Got dirty, uh... So I've got to wash my hands. Apparently there's some panties in there, for fuck's sake. Why? How, how, how do the... That's what I don't get. I don't get how games like this get through Nintendo. Nintendo are usually very... Very, very, um... Hot on this sort of thing. I mean, like, you had that, that game about... Right, let's turn that off. You had that game about um, like knocking one out, and I was absolutely pitch dark, and I died. You had that game about like I knocking one out. It's just uh, you know, don't get caught. That was it. It was released on the the eShop for like a day, and then Nintendo just uh just turned it off. Said no, I can't have that on here. Why haven't they done it with these sorts of games? It's uh, bizarre. Guessing that I have to, I have to go in here. Have I done that right? I just don't know any of these buttons. There's no sound. I'm just not getting anything. Pause the game. Um, it's about return to game. Let's, let's get this done, boys. And these, apparently. Oh, we'll close the door. Right. Oh, I see. There's like a little panty monitor sort of thing. Yeah, it's extremely, extremely freaky. I don't even know if this is going to go on my channel, but it is a weird game. I'm, I'm stumped for words. I'm not normally stumped for words in these sorts of... Uh, In the in these uh, eShop games, but I I'm stumped. I I, can't, I don't know what to do. I don't really want to know what to do. I think I'm gonna leave this as the 
It's just a really weird, really weird game. Let's just uh, fix that video recorder. Oh, I can't do that yet. It's so bizarre. Dude, it's got to be one of the most fucked up games I've played. Switch. And I played Waifu, Waifu Uncovered. If anyone wants to go back and watch that, but I, I can't carry on. So I think this is the end of the, the, the impressions video. I haven't really given many impressions. We've just gone through a dialogue, like a prologue, first mission, and I've realised I can't do it. I, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like Broken Sword, but with panties. So take what you will of it if you want to buy it. Fucking crack on. Go out and buy the game. But for me, it's a no. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in hopefully the, uh, a slightly less weird uh, next, next impressions video. Thanks ever so much for watching. And I will see you later.